can't afford to look human, you're going to the farm. It's as simple as that. Do you have any idea how much it costs to have an entire family in glamour? I can't finish the mirror. It's missing a piece. Crane must have taken a shard with him. The open arms. Enjoy your stay. Thanks, Bigby. And thanks for covering for me last time, too. Bigby? How could you do this to me? I guess I finally see you for who you are! Tell me who did it! Just tell me who did it! I know you know! I don't think he did it. What? Look at him. Do you really think this man murdered these women? The old, in with the new. Long live the queen. I can't even tell that's lightning coming from this game, from outside, because it was lightning earlier. Oh wow, they really dragged my body. Yeesh. See you around. <clears throat> Hollow point bullets are a nasty business. The silver slug deformed and shredded on impact. He'll be okay, though. Hmm? He'll be okay? His internal organs are positively riddled. If I don't extract every single scrap of silver, he's liable to suffer some long-term toxicosis. <sighs> Easy there. Try not to move. Oh, <sighs> me. Ooh. We can't get you in this way, old boy. I figured I'd be done before you were conscious, but there's little I can do for the pain. Swinehart, how bad is it? No, not the worst I've seen, but damn near it. I must say, you're testing even my skills here. Please, oh god, I even want to look at that. Uh. Look, I'm a bit engaged saving his life at the moment, but if the fractured extremity concerns him that much, he can set it himself. Oh, oh god. It's Clementine all over again with that stitches. Oh, this is gonna hurt. Ooh. One tough son of a bitch. Seriously, trying to pull my skin over a bone, that's a... Totally smart idea. Holy crap. You know, if you go in wolf form because of that, that's totally, you know, reasonable. Hmm. Not bad. That'll do, I suppose. He's lucky to be alive. And he won't be next time if he keeps going like this. He didn't listen to me before. Maybe he'll listen to you. I don't know about that. Well, he should. There are limits to what even I can do. This <sighs> is the job. Quiet. Just relax. <laughs> Excuse me, Miss White, but perhaps it'd be better if you gave me a few minutes to finish with him. I, I think I should stay. At least until he's... out of the woods. Believe me, Bigby couldn't be in better hands. And I need the space to work, so... if you Honestly, Snow, mind, if I can't look, you do it. The headroom. You can't either. I don't... <sighs> I prefer you don't watch this anyway. We'll be done in a moment. Just please, give us the time. I 
Hey, Doc, how much longer? Colin, leave him be. It's finished when it's finished. Because I once watched a vet sew a turtle together in ten minutes flat. Colin, you're not even supposed to be here right now. Oh, really? Where am I supposed to be? I'm here to take care Colin, of Colin, shut friend. up. Colin, shut the hell up, will you? Yes, that would be helpful. Ah, there. All done. Great. This isn't a habit you should keep to. Having visits with me. And, well, this time... This time was no joke. Eat as many metal shellings as you see fit, but take just one more silver round near your heart, and the only place I'll be visiting you is the morgue. Miss White. He'll be fine for light duty, if he can figure out what that means. He knows what it means. It's just been an unusual couple of days. I know, but please, don't give him the excuse. His body will eventually give out. Take care of him, please. I will. He'll need rest, I assume? Sleep, mostly. Just keep watch, and make sure he doesn't get into further altercations. I'm right here, guys. Come on. Anyways, guard against, as they say. Miss White? Sheriff? Colin? Swiney? So no heavy labor. No more getting shot at. So... How do you, um... Like, I got Feel. shot a couple times. Seriously, lady. It's Big B, Snow. He'll be okay. Hell, I seen him take worse. Don't worry about me, all right? I'll be fine. See? Strong as an oak, this guy. You had us. <clears throat> you had us worried there for a while. You, uh... You stopped breathing, you know, when you passed out or, or died, I guess. It, um, it kind of scared the hell out of me. I've never seen you like that. Out of die, easy lady. Arrived, I'm the big bad wolf, remember? Pretty hard to kill. Yeah, you were really fucked up, man. You look like when you take an action figure and bend its limbs the wrong way. Colin... I'm just saying, I was worried about him is all. The guy hasn't had a night's rest in days. Well, I'll get some rest when this whole thing is done. What whole thing? What's even happening out there? I mean, do you guys have like a plan or something? And who should I be asking? Should I be worried about the crooked man taking over? Or is we Crane gotta go get Crane. the thing? Crane is still our focus. I just can't forget everything he's done. I don't care if he has problems. The crooked man. Ichapod's gone. It's over for him. He's not coming back. It's not about Crane anymore, Bigby. The crooked man came out of the shadows for a reason. For him to attack us so blatantly like that. He either feels invincible or desperate. Well, if those are my two options, I don't think I'd pick desperate. What do you mean? You traded Crane to save Bigby. I'm just saying, that's not exactly something you do when you're playing with house money. So he called my bluff. It's not like I'm gonna let Bloody Mary just murder it. Yeah, uh, thanks, Snow, for all that back there. No problem. Thanks? You're not pissed that Crane's flown the coop? Or that the crooked man thinks he's got snow under his thumb? Of course I'm pissed, but what's done is done. Okay, okay. All I care about right now is just what does the crooked man want out of this? I thought he was just a loan shark, but clearly he's operating in other circles. It can't just be about Crane, right? Getting him out of town? Is this all about the murders? Crane can't be useful to him anymore. So what could this have to do with Faith and Lily? How long has this stuff been going on? Crane was a puppet, and the Crooked Man worked the strings. This is all about control of Fabled Town. But then what do prostitutes have to do with it? Lily? 
And faith? Sex sales. I don't know how that. it all works out yet, but I know it does. Somehow. The Crooked Man declared war against us last night. At least that's what I thought when it happened. But now I see this war has been going on for years. We just haven't noticed it because our way of doing things is broken. We need to do things the right way. What does that mean, the right way? What do you think I mean? I don't know, but it suspiciously sounds like you're... <laughs> I can only do things my way. Baby's the one on the Destroy front shit. lines. I can only do things the way I do them. And where has that left us so far? Excuse me, but it's left us with a name. Maybe the name, the Crooked Man. That's not good enough. So, starting now, we do everything cut and dried. By the book, straight as an arrow. Pure as driven snow. I'm not saying I'm the arbiter of- Sure you're not. This town has enough monsters. What happened last night, what you turned into, it can't happen again. We need monsters to fight monsters. Colin, if I really believed that we needed him to lose his flippin' mind at a moment's notice- We were under attack, Snow. What did you expect me to do? There are degrees. Degrees? I we only got shot at, lady. I had to turn into the wolf. Really? Well, if that's the case, please explain to Colin why tearing Dumb's throat out was necessary. You can't let up until the fight is finished. He was... he was still a threat, and that's all there is to it. Sure. Look, Bigby, I care about how this is done just as much as I care about it getting done. So for that, you want to give him a handicap? Like the bad guys will worry if shit gets sloppy. Everybody wants Bigby to smile and shave and take a shower now and then. Hell, I'm practically the president of the Bigby Don't Be Such a Dick Club. Hold on, who says I'm sloppy? I always <laughs> do what I do for a reason. And it's all turned out how you planned. He'll get the job done. Just let him do it. I'm going to... I'm going to let you do it, okay? It's just that, now that I'm Deputy Mayor, I need your respect. And this situation has to end. What situation? All unglamored fables starting today have to go and stay. Oh, oh someone's a being a bit of a bitch. Break. Are you gonna let her talk to me like that? It's been the rule for a reason, Colin. And Bigby knows it's for the best of the town. That's not gonna happen. Yes, it will. It's an what about Toad and his kid? And last time I checked, they weren't you really glamored. expect to round up every talking cat and raven in town? There's not that many stragglers left. Except the one or two you make excuses for. Wolf's residence. That's rude. Oh, Buffkin, what is it? Okay, I'll let him know. Thanks. Guess who's waiting in your office right now? Let me guess, Bluebeard or Toad? Nerissa. Nerissa? Nerissa? Okay. That broad from the pudding and pie? Yes. Apparently, she told Buffkin that she has something she needs to talk to you about. But that she'll only tell you. What do you think that could be? Uh, Bigby's got an admirer. You always do well with the, uh, disenfranchised. She knows something. She's helped me a little with the case. Maybe she has something else. Maybe she does. I should get back to the business office. I've left Buffkin alone for too long taking calls. And I should probably change out of these clothes. Consider the discussion tabled, but not over. Let me know when you're done with Nerissa. Aye, aye, Captain. She's a piece of work. Hey, you're not really gonna send me to the farm, are you? I mean, she seemed real serious about it. But I can still hang out here. I don't know. Snow will come around. She's just... You know, the crane thing hit her hard, and she doesn't really know who her friends are right now. Oh, okay. I get it. Don't worry about it. Thanks, Bigby. I like having a pig in my house. <laughs> Smarter than dogs, you know? Plus, he's sarcastic like me, so even though I hate him a little, he he's a cool pig. I want him around.
That and, you know, anytime I need some dinner. <laughs> Telltale Game Presents. I'm not reading the rest of it. Are you fucking kidding me? But yes, we are now in the fourth episode of The Wolf Among Us. Oh, timing. Yay! <sighs> so how's everybody doing? Um, I'm baking alive in my room. Like, everywhere I live, box old box, every single one is a freaking insulator. And now it's getting to the summer months, and well, ugh. There's plenty of CO2, but more C than O2. Too hot. I have both my windows open, I have the fan going, I don't know if you can hear that. But holy crap, is it hot. It's like 9 o'clock at night, too. They think I live in the north. Hi, Sheriff. Hi, Narissa. Have a seat. I, um... Are you okay? You didn't look good last night. I wasn't sure you'd be, you know, around. Well, let's just say I've been better. <coughs> yeah, I don't think a cigarette would be the best thing right now, but whatever to calm your nerves. Huff and puffs. Not many people smoke those. He'll huff and he'll puff. And he'll blow your house down, little pig. Thanks. So what is it you wanted to talk to me about? I know what you did for me, sending me the open arms. I think you want to help me again. There's not a lot that I can talk about. You know that. So that spell crane was trying to break. It's not just while you're at work. Nah. What I mean is, I don't want to waste your time, but I don't want you wasting your own time either. Back in the dressing room, at the pudding and pie, I told you what I was looking for, and you found a way to tell me. You sent me to the open arms. Maybe that'll work again? You can try. I just... Go ahead. It... Might work. Is that the Crooked Man? You're here because the Crooked Man just sent Crane to the bottom of my list of worries. You have something you want to say about that, right? These lips are sealed. If I could answer you just like that, I wouldn't have had to make that appointment with you. No, I guess not. Sometimes, we have to find our way through life on our own. Grasping and fumbling in the dark. I... I used to have friends to help me find my way. But now, they're gone. And I don't know what to do. I feel like being nice to the horde sense? more than Snow White is a totally good idea, so yeah. Are you saying you need a friend right now? You can trust me. What I'm saying is friends matter. And I... I don't have any left. So I hope you're looking after yours. Are you? Look around you. It's my job to look out for people. And not just my friends. <sighs> I'm sorry. I thought I could do this. I need you to know, I want to help, but, but. It's okay. Take your time. I'm 
sorry if I'm wasting your time. I thought I knew how to say it. Ribbons. Faith wore one too, huh? Do you like it? Hmm? Do you? It's not how it looks that concerns me. It's what it does. That's why you can't tell me anything. It's the ribbon, isn't it? So, just take the freaking ribbon off her. Or is there like a spell or something? Can't we just take the ribbon off? No! The lips are sealed! What? You can't! Just stay back! You can't do that! Slow down. It's all right. I'm not gonna do anything. Please. Maybe it decapitates don't. her head or something if she takes it off. Who knows? <sighs> That's my guess. Okay. I get it. So the ribbons, if you take them off. I don't know how, but I'm going to fix this. If you could just point me in the right direction, I swear I will fix this. Probably snow. Listen, Sheriff. Can you keep this conversation between us? I could be in a lot of trouble. I shouldn't be talking to you. I won't tell anyone, don't worry. Thank you. Why do I feel like I'm lying to her? Well, that totally looked good. No, you're being a Sorry, bitch right now, so I don't I care. just need to talk to the sheriff for a moment. Please excuse us. One minute. I might have a new lead for you, but I don't know how solid it is. Ah, uh, fucking Beauty sheriff, Beast mine. called the office just now. They said they wanted to talk to you about something. I wonder if they've heard about Crane. Thank you for listening, Sheriff. You should go on to your next business. I don't think you'll be wasting your time. Uh, wait, you don't have to go. That was... Uh, abrupt. That's one way to send a message. What did she tell you? I didn't mean to rush her out. Did you get anything from her? She told me enough. I think she told both of us with the way she just left. Okay then. Good work. So, about Beauty and Beast. Do you think there's something to it? Is this the right place to look? What could they know about the Crooked Man? Or do you think they just heard about last night? And they're... scared about what's been going on? Beauty told me she had to take out a loan from the Crooked Man. Seems like a pretty bad deal. I can only imagine what they're thinking now. She didn't even press the button. She, like, pressed the wood under the button. We need to solve this before <laughs> something else happens. Who knows what? I have other matters to attend to. You notice how she like went from wearing white to wearing black like she got more serious? Don't even know how that's possible, but okay. Snow White is now officially snow black. Once upon a time. And oh yeah, we can move now. Tell me what you were into With either. good reason. Look what happened. So that's back on me now. I thought we agreed that was settled. You said it was settled. That doesn't mean I have to agree to it. And when were you going to tell me? Or were you just going to keep that a secret too? You know what it is. Oh. What do you want? Well, 
You're just going around knocking on doors? Stirring the pot? You called, right? Or, uh, was it beauty? Why would I call you? Oh, come on. You're still pissed off? Listen, I think we got over I've this. I've had a shitty night. Don't you think you're the only one? And I really don't want to deal with the runaround. Snow said you called and wanted to talk to me. Well, I didn't call. Must have been beauty. She's been surprising me a lot lately. Can I? So have you, Bigby. Yet, with all the sneaking around and secrets, somehow I'm still the bad guy in this. I've had to hear about it all night long from her. Who is it? Who's there? Beast? If you don't want to talk, can you just get beauty for me? I don't know. Is it safe to turn my back? It's your pal, Bigby. Hi, Bigby. Please excuse us for just a minute. Can I talk to you in private? Yes, let's. Oh, so they're gonna let me, you know, walk around the house? Mm. I guess I really do have the smallest apartment in the woodlands. I can already tell you're going to make a problem out of this. What's he doing here? We don't need to bring him into this. Beast. I just don't think we can trust him. Not after the way he went behind my back. And then oh, look at that picture. It looks so happy. Wonder what happened. Well, I trust him. Mm. He was Talk about living in the past. It was one little thing. Do you want to keep fighting about that? Or do you want to try to sort this out? All I'm saying is we can handle this on our own. <laughs> what? I feel like that's going to be breakable <laughs> later on. That's why I Lisa's going to get pissed off or something. We'll finish this later. Oh, look, it's the rose. We need to talk to Big B. Fine. If you want to talk, we'll talk. Guess I'm knocking. Or not. Sorry, it's been a long night. Yeah, you know what they say. Centuries of marriage come with centuries of baggage. I gotta say, your place, it looks, uh, expensive. What do you mean by that? Beast! No, really, I wanna know. What are you trying to say, huh? Nothing. It's a nice place you got here. Thanks, but that's really not why I called. Is this something about that loan you took out? From the crooked man? I didn't know what else to do, so... We should deal with this on our own. Bigby's just going to complicate things. I called him here, and I want to see if he can help us out. Why are you being like this? I'm just trying to do what's best for us. That's all I ever do. Well, what kind of trouble are you in? Either it's the money, or it's something else. I gotta know one thing first. What if we did have something to say about the Crooked Man? What if we talk and you don't get it? And all this comes back on us? We'd be risking a lot. We've seen what happens when you cross the Crooked Man. And I don't know if it's worth it. If you can't give us certain assurances. You think you're the only ones in danger? If you have info on that Crooked Bastard, I need to hear it. Otherwise, I've got better things to do. No, please don't. Then tell me what the fuck is going on. You're in so much debt? Look around you. This isn't the way people short on cash live. Look, we're used to a certain kind of lifestyle, okay? We couldn't just give that we up. We never meant for it to get like this. It's just that we had nowhere else to turn. And we got in over our heads. There's not a lot of work out there. Who would we be if we just lived like... I don't know, live like every other freaking person in the world. Up to dead in your ass, and the moment you die, Hi it's there. all gone. You've reached Beauty. And Beast. And we're out doing something fabulous. Uh, let me just, uh... <laughs> Skiing the slope. Can we finish this conversation <laughs> first? I should get that. Right Come on. Now, so leave a message at the beep, and we'll get back to you as soon as... <laughs> Humanly possible. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. That fucking message. I'm gonna come down there and bash your heads in with that machine if I have to call again and hear that fucking message one more time. I've been doing this long enough to know that if you had the cash, you'd have paid by now. So consider yourselves out of warnings. It's time to 
start thinking about how else you can settle this. Who is that? The crooked man's gonna get his, one way or another. Yeah, I should have picked up the phone. Damn it. All I care about is how can I find the crooked man? Who do I talk to? Where do I go? The Lucky Pawn. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man's behind that place. I'd overheard people talking to Jersey about loans before. So, when I needed money, that's where I went. I didn't know what to do. You could have told me. Wait, who do you deal with? Jersey. You know, the Jersey Devil. Oh, oh the yeah. Jersey Devil. That slimy prick. I didn't realize he was back on this side of the river. And those Tweedles were always going in and out. Probably dropping off a loan payment they squeezed Bloody Mary, out the Crooked Man, fable. now the Jersey Devil. But never the Crooked Man. We got all the freaking evil Mainly characters in books. just regular fables. I can see now that it was a mistake, but I'm not the only one who goes there, you know. I saw the Woodsman's Axe there just the other day. It was in a display case. I guess he's hit hard times, too. There's a lot of that going around. I can't imagine he has a lot of marketable skills. Fucking Bloody Mary must go through there. She had Woody's axe last night. Had to chop my damn head off with it. Maybe if you go there, you can sort some things out. I guess I'll go check out the Lucky Pawn. If I can't track down the Crooked Man there, maybe I can make enough noise that the Crooked Man will come find me. Hold on, Bigby. Don't go there. Sounds like you're just going to get Beauty in trouble. And... You know that butcher shop, the cut above? It's the place on Tubman Street. Same block as the baker and the candlestick maker. Well, I've been delivering packages from there for a while. The thing is, it's for the crooked man. And I don't think it's meat in the packages. You, you gotta understand, I need it work. You have to believe us. Listen to me very carefully. Did you ever deliver to the Crooked Man? Can you give me an address? No. I delivered to places all over town, but never to the man himself. He never seems to be heading to the same place, but it always comes out of the butcher shop. How did you get involved with this? Johan the Butcher called. He had a problem with the refrigeration unit one night. When I finished, it was your pal Mary who showed up to pay me. She said I was reliable. She liked that. And it's the only thing I've been able to pick up. And it's still not enough. I don't want Beauty to have to work. Especially not where she was. It's Mary you deal with? Bloody Mary is there? No, Johan is the one who hands over the packages, you know, day to day. But I've seen her around there. She uh, gets under my skin, you know, and... I try to avoid her, but I don't need to tell you what she's You're like. damn right you don't. I don't need a rundown on her reputation. If Mary works out of there, I need to look into it. I just wanted to provide for beauty. Give her the kind of life she deserves. Every husband's words. We shouldn't have to live like this. Scraping to get by. None of us should. We were royalty once. We were accustomed to a certain lifestyle. All we want is to make this place feel a little bit like home. You wouldn't understand, Big B. No, probably not. So, where are you going? If this all goes sideways, I'd like to know where it's coming from. Looks like I'm gonna get a choice over here, and where do we go? We go either to the Lucky Pond, the Lucky Pond. or we can head That's over to I the borrowed. Butcher Shop. You know that Butcher Shop, the cut above. The Lucky Pond. That's where I borrowed the money. The Crooked Man. You know that Butcher Shop, the <laughs> cut above. Eeny, meeny, miny. Let's go to the Butcher That's Shop. Where I, I want to know what the Crooked Man is hiding at that Butcher Shop. You know, Bigby. Once you show up there, word is gonna spread. 
There may be nothing left for you to see if you go to the Lucky Pond after. Well, I guess I'll find out. Wait. I don't know what you're planning to do when you find the Crooked Man, but is there any way you could help us out? What do you mean? Well, maybe you can make this all just go away. We would really appreciate it. Are they telling me to kill the Crooked Man? What do you say? Can you help us out? I'll handle it. I'm not gonna let that crooked bastard ruin any more lives. Oh, thank you, Bigby. I'm sure you'll do the right thing. I just got a hit for them. <laughs> oh yeah, we're we're probably definitely gonna kill someone, but mm, who knows if it's gonna be in this episode or not. Before we come to that kind of decision, I bet it's gonna be in the last episode. Which probably won't be for about another month. There was a wolf. Cut above butcher's shop. Tump train. Afternoon. Taking a long drag of my cigarette. And notice the no smoking sign. Fuck you, man. Fuck you. Keep smoking. <laughs> Breaking the rules and I don't care. Looking for the cold drinks because, oh my god, it's so fucking hot. I want a Coke right now. Oh, why can't it be real? Huh. Empty. Either he's got a whole lot of customers or he doesn't have any. Right. Looks of it, nothing. Where's the meats? Look at that steak. Not very appetizing. Frozen solid. Yeah, it's got frostbite on it. Eat this. When you cook your meat, you have to make it medium, so there's a little blood on it. Yeah. That's where all the juice comes from. As you know, I pretty much have an iron cast stomach at this point. Big B wolf. Yeah, welcome, Sheriff. Uh, what can I get for you? You interested in a particular cut? <coughs> um, let's see. What do we have in stock? Let's, uh, let's see what we got here. Flank steak on special. New York strip. Uh, oh, I can have some wild boar in tomorrow if you like. Uh, sirloin. Ribs, roast, tongue. Got some tongue here. I know about the deliveries. The ones going in and out of here. Well, of course there are deliveries. <laughs> we don't raise the cows in here. Beast told me. He said these packages aren't meat. Well, what else would they be? I don't know. Cocaine, <laughs> opium, <laughs> any other kind of drugs. What you see is <laughs> what you get. Just meat. Don't find anything else. We just, uh, we do more wholesale and meat packing than walk up service. I'd like to help you. Really, I would. But there's uh, nothing here. So you don't mind if I take a look around? I guess not. I. Sheriff, I. Come clean, buddy. Just say it. Did you hear that? What? Oh, I'm real oh, what sorry. the fuck did you Hold just on. do? I, I just gotta go check on that. Don't go anywhere. I'll be right back. Chase Watch after him. I just now. have to go see. Go. Open it. Shit. Oh, that's pleasant. I eat the meat. I don't I kill it. just want to talk. I'm sorry, Sheriff, but you're not supposed to be back here for uh, safety purposes. 
There's gonna be a chainsaw to my face, isn't there? Come on, damn it. Such an innocent guy, you're acting pretty damn strange, Johan. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You're gonna kill me. Oh god, she is gonna fucking kill me. He's gonna get me killed. Doing? Please, please, Bigby, please don't. Bigby, what happened to Sheriff? Please don't kill me, Sheriff. I don't want to die. Please, please don't kill me. If you don't talk, I might have to do just that. that Reason I'm not slamming him is because, well, no, I'm supposed to relax, no, please, otherwise I'm gonna die. You don't have to do that. I'm dead. Either way, they said to me, Johan, you could keep your life and lose your shop, or lose both. What would you do? It was a simple choice to make, in the moment. They? You mean Mary? Bloody Mary? This isn't my shop anymore. That crew took it from me a long time ago. Crew? Fuck. The Crooked Man's people. Jersey Devil, D and Dumb, and that mental case, Bloody Mary. Y you want to talk about the real butcher? <laughs> it's her, not me. This is her place. Am I about to backhand him? They muscled in on me took over my storage and delivery a long time ago. All cause of that heat wave. That summer was even hotter than this one. Oh, I'd let Mary and those porkers stay cool in the meat locker one day, playing cards, having a great time. I guess they were sizing the place up. Shows what I get for being nice. I'm just a victim in this. I don't know what they do back there. I swear. A and I don't want to know. Well, we're about to see what's back there. And then we'll see if I believe you. I knew this would happen. Didn't know when. Shh. All right, time for some heavy lifting. Oh, it's a meth lab. Perfect. House close. House listing drugs. Just didn't get the meth right away. What is this place? I told you, Big P. I don't know. They muscled me out. I swear, I don't know anything more. I haven't been back here when it was like this. Warning lights. This business. It's all I've ever had. I guess that's why I stuck around when they took it. Damn it. You can't act like you're forced into this and then turn around and help them. Still be here if you hadn't flipped that switch out there. I had to. Huh. You come in here making trouble for me. But you only give a shit now because the crooked man stepped on your toes or something. Where were you when they took this place from me? It hasn't been easy for me. You, you think I want to live with this at my back? I needed help. I needed your help. All right, Johan. Do me a favor. Just shut the fuck up and stay out of the way. Can you manage that? So this is what Beast was delivering. Glamours. Other kinds of magic. Could be dangerous stuff. Maybe just don't touch anything back here, please? Didn't I tell you to sit down and shut up? All right, what do we got here? Got like ingredients or something over here. That symbol. It's on all the packages. What is it? That's the Crooked Man's uh, brand. It's on everything that goes in and out of here. So you do know something, huh? Is that a, a wheel or what? I guess they never use that thing on wolves, huh? What's that supposed to mean? It's from back in the homelands. A torture device. It came over here with the rest of our stories. 
Not that Mondays need any help coming up with that kind of thing. It makes people crooked. Like breaking their bones and... Do I really need to explain this? Okay, we got the run sign. We got the chalkboard over here. Huh. Looks like math or something. Oh, there's a secondary one. Shit. Is everybody on here? Do you know anything about this? I I, I don't know. A lot of fables out there need a lot of things. Can we find our name on here? Seriously. I think I saw Mary's name. Rose Red. Mr. White. Mrs. W. Mr. R. Mr. M. Georgie. These are raw materials for making magic. Anti Greenleaf and any other rogue witches out there probably get their supplies here. Got some boiler looking thing. Oh, something over here too. Shackles. Chains. Who's getting chained up here? You can't think I'm the only one the crooked man has under his yoke. Don't you see what's going on here? All these fables and magic from him. Business is booming. He's got all he needs. The raw materials and the slave labor to process them. With all this gear, looks like they could make just about any kind of magic. A lot of it. It's pretty clear why. Oh yeah? Why? Doing it like this. It's bound to be cheaper than the 13th floor. This is just horrible. Things that must have gone on here. It's the putting in pie girls with the ribbons. Whoever he's got in here in these chains, he's... He's enslaving fables. On my watch. People just don't know the real cost of getting something cheap. You don't have to tell me. That fucker Crane knew all about it. Yeah, what about Crane? Dude, don't jump on the this bandwagon. Song. I mean, Seriously. finding the crooked man is so fucking important. Why don't you ask your boss? Snow. No, Crane. He said he knows where everybody is. I don't know how, but he's got some way. That's right. It was that, cre that creepy magic mirror with the big green head and all. Why don't you just use that? Find the crooked man that way. And leave me alone. Yeah, with stuff like that mirror, I'm surprised that you ever need to leave the office. Crane shattered the mirror and made off with one of the pieces. Probably still has the shard with him. Well, if they got their hands on an important magical item, there's only one place they'd take it. The Lucky Pawn. They probably took Crane there, too. The Lucky Pawn. If I can find the mirror piece there, I can find the Crooked Man. Hey, hold on! Well, I'm real happy you found what you're looking for, Bigby. But what about me? Huh? Does it look like a given name? What to do now? I'm gonna have to spend the rest of my short life looking over my shoulder for Bloody Mary. They won't care that I held up my hand. You won't have to worry, Johan. I'm gonna take him down. Thank you. Thank you, Sheriff. Flip the sign. Uh, I don't know if it was a good decision coming here or not, but going to Lockie Pond now, so who knows? 
that piece has to be moved now. I mean, if they escape, they gotta, you know, spill the beans where I was at. Jersey, don't don't give me that shit. What the fuck is the point of having a system if you're just gonna Jack? What the fuck is going on? But you I'm uh, the guy who just gonna sure. I'm the guy to keep uh, shit in order. You know. And that's it, Woody. If you love your ex so fucking much, why'd you pawn it in the first fucking place, huh? I didn't pawn it, asshole. It was stolen from my apartment. You don't want no part of this, pal. You push me one more time. So get the fuck out of my sight, piss bricks. See you later. Oh, for the love of God, Woody, hey, just push him back. What's going on here? The fucking hell! Christ. And this fucking guy too? Are you kidding me? It was here. It was right fucking here. What did you do with it? How the fuck do I know? Listen, you bald little dipshit. You're gonna. <clears throat> you piece of shit. Finally. <laughs> kind of don't want to restrain I'm either of them. Rip your fucking lungs out! I'd like to see you try, you backwards fuck! Back it up, Jersey. You're dealing with me now. You got here fast. Still looking for whoever killed them hookers? Or are you done chasing your tail? Where's my axe? Who'd you give it to? You follow me here all the way from Battery fucking Park? <laughs> That's it? Back off, dog. I just want what's mine, my axe. You talk big, but I don't think you got the stones to back it up. Ooh, Still that hurts. So are we? Why should Mary get all the fun? You ain't so. Remember, I got a hit person per episode, so. <laughs> this ain't gonna go like it went with Tweedledum. Ah, you fucking mother! Oh, motherfucker! What the hell are you doing? This is my fucking fight. Not now. Dog? You got a lot of nerve. Stop calling me a fucking dog. <laughs> the Jersey Devil. Look. <laughs> yeah, werewolf versus the Jersey Devil. Pressing the wrong button, but still registering me as doing the same thing. When it says R2, I'm pressing L2, and when it says R2, L2, I'm doing R2. <laughs> Jesus Christ, this is intense as fuck as fight. Best fight so far. Ooh! Come on, Woody! Do something, like chop his fucking head off! Quite literally dealing with death right now. Hey, asshole. I found her. The headless horseman statue. Do it. Fuck ahead. 
Magic Mirror's missing shard. Where is it? Bloody Mary brought it here, didn't she? You don't know anything about anything, do you? What do you have? Nothing. Had ah, useless bitch Snow White in a broken fucking mirror. Oh! The next thing you say better be something useful. You can't find a crooked man. No one can. Oh, the door to his house. It bounces around. Never in one spot. You'll never find it. Even Crane had to use the magic mirror. They dumped all his shit here. Bloody Mary uses this place like a fucking dump. Where's Crane's stuff? Where'd they put it? In back. Just go on. Get Crane's shit and go. Not that it's gonna do you any good. See anything? Crane's coat. Come on, the piece has to be in here somewhere. No time for traveler's checks, huh? He won't be needing this anymore. <laughs> Gotta take the money, man. Take that fucking money. That sick piece of... And last but not least... The shard. It's the shard. Finally. Hey, Sheriff. Those girls are still dead. Oh, and there's nothing you could do to bring them back. And I don't know what they did, but I do know this. Oh, if they're dead, it's because the crooked man wanted them dead. That's all it takes. So you can raw smash the place up. <laughs> Shit. You can wail on me all you want, but what good is it gonna do you? Cause he ain't in your town, you're in his, and he sure as shit is ready for you. Oh! Yeah, shut the fuck up, will ya? Well, I'm happy I got my daily beaten. <laughs> Out of smoke? There, I've been huffing and puffing. I don't know if I have any more. Thanks. Shitty grand. You're welcome. <laughs> Heroin and Grease is still a shitty brand. I'm not brand. gonna lie. I was having trouble deciding which one of you to hit with this thing. Jersey was wrong, you know. About what? About those girls. There is something you can do about it. You can get the fucker who did it. Ain't that the plan? Yeah, you're damn right it is. All right, we'll go do it then. gonna be all right you know me
I don't care who killed the prostitutes. If Crane was helping himself to the community coffers, it means his hand was in my pocket. And you just let him go! I don't know what you heard, but it didn't happen like that. Are you denying the facts? Uh, she's denying me the chance to get a word in. Now, Miss White, I... Sheriff Bigby has returned. Ah, oh, there's the old wrecking bowl himself. Bigby, where have you been? I'm not finished here, Miss White. You will have to wait. <sighs> just one moment, please. Look what I found. Seems your dog wants a biscuit. <laughs> I'm not in the mood. And you've got a lot uh, to answer for. Those fucking for. dog jokes. Oh, really? Buffy, that was actually a good get one. this piece in the mirror right away. With pleasure, Miss White. <sighs> Finally, things are swinging back in the right direction. Good work, Bigby. You've been gone all day. What did you uncover? I thought you were going to report back to me. I mean, it's fine. I gotta say, this thing reaches a lot further than we thought. Crooked man has something on everybody. It wasn't just Beauty and the loan. Beast was working for him. His goon, the Jersey Devil, is putting the squeeze on all kinds of fables down at the Lucky Pawn. And he's got fables enslaved at the butcher shop, making black market magic. This is worse than we could have imagined. But that's over now. Because we got the mirror. And once it's fixed, we got him. That's how Crane did it. That's how we're gonna do it. Excellent work. Really. Sheriff, I could use your assistance. Would you join me at the mirror? He's not waking up, is he? Don't go far, Sheriff. I'd like to have a few words of my own with you. Unbelievable. Pompous ass. Oh yeah? Take a number. I don't understand. This piece just doesn't want to join the rest. Do you have any idea why? Got me. Well, where did you find it? What has it gone through since being separated from the rest? Shattering is a very traumatic experience, you know. So this process can be a little touchy. I found it in Crane's coat. Last person I saw with Crane or his coat was that psycho Bloody Mary. Maybe she has... Ah, yes, Miss White was asking about her. That explains it. You know who and the mirror have a very unhappy history with each other. How would you like it if she tried to use you as a doorway? I think I already know the feeling. Well, I think I know how to proceed now. It will just take a little extra coaxing, that's all. Thank you for your help. It could be a while, Sheriff. I'll find you when it's ready. Besides which, he might not want to come out with you watching. Oh, he doesn't like being spied on. If you ask me, you're everything that's wrong with Fable Town. Is it fixed? Did you ask about the Crooked Man? Buffkin's still working on it. He said it might be a while. If you're so self-reliant, what do you want from the business office out back? What I want is my business. I can't take those two right now. We're trying to catch a murderer, and they're... They're over there bickering about bureaucracy. We're at war. Don't they realize that? You need some help over there? Yeah. Thanks. Go talk to Toad. But just so you know, we can't pay him. He really needs to go to the farm, you know. So just break the news and be done with it, okay? I don't want to send Toad to the farm. Don't make me do that. Toad, come here. I thought I made myself very I see how it is. Passed off to an underling, eh? Why am I not surprised? Well, you did cause what damage brings me in here, so maybe it's for the best. Just need a little bit of dosh to cover it. I tried talking to her about it, but it's like chatting up a brick wall, it is. Now, I'm sure you've got your own agenda, Sheriff, but I've taken a real wallet because of you, and you can't deny that. Before we get into any of that, what do you know about the Crooked Man? Don't try to change a subject on me. I need a little bit of that walking around money, you know? My car, total, the gaping maw in my wall, any of us sound familiar? I'm not looking for a handout, just what's right. Here, Crane won't be getting any use out of this. Will that do? Crane's money, eh? Well, I suppose that means it belongs to me as much as anybody. Thank you, Sheriff. Use it to get glamoured, Toad. Got the money now, so I won't be so lenient if I catch you again. And the 
Farm is always on the table. But of course. I love how the text can't decide whether to focus on Big Beast talk or Bluebeard's talk. <laughs> He's all happy. <laughs> Bluebeard, you want to talk? Now's your chance. I've just made my donation funding this office, so direct your questions to Miss White. Well, at least he's not trying to get rid of me. He's not? For now. Did you take care of Toad? I mean, I saw the way he left. I know it may not seem that important right now, but glamours are the law for a very good reason. Toad won't be a problem. I'll see to that. Are you sure? Because he left looking pretty happy. <sighs> Fine. We'll deal with it later. I know I should be asking how it got like this, but I just keep wondering why it happened to Faith and Lily. You've seen his world. Do you have any idea why he'd want them dead? I don't know if the crooked man killed them with his own hand or if it was one Little of Little itchy, gotta goons, scratch my beard. <laughs> someone did. What would make a person do that? What could those girls have done? I don't know. But when I catch the fucker who did this, I'll find out why. Sheriff! Miss White! I believe the mirror is repaired. I have to say, I have been better. But thanks for putting me back together. I'm sorry, I just... I have to know. Mirror, mirror, we're glad you weren't slain. Now please show us that sick creep crane. <laughs> oh, He's God. probably still waking up a little. Yeah, I want to see where he's ended up, too. You will get on that plane to Paris, and you will wait for the day the Crooked Man needs you. Until then, not a peep. Otherwise, I get to deal with you my way. So please, please disobey. Wait a minute. Someone's watching. Oh shit, she knows. What just happened? We pointed you in the wrong direction. We looked at Bloody Mary's reflection. Oh, her. That explains the sting. I'd rather not have to feel the pain she brings. So, let's not do that again, okay? Looks like we'll have to track him down later. You're right. We need to focus on the immediate threat, and that's the Crooked Man. Bigby, we don't have a lot of time. Poetry isn't part of my job description. I haven't been feeling well of late. Seems neither of us can cooperate. Damn. Perhaps I can be of assistance? <clears throat> mirror, mirror, keep us sane. Show the door to Crooked Man's domain. I can always count on you, Buffkin. <laughs> That was a good rhyme, Buffkin. I don't recognize the door, but that's the Crooked Man symbol on it. Hold off. The door. It moves. Yeah, Jersey mentioned that. Wait a minute. I know that door. That's Central Park. I don't know when it's gonna move again, but I'm gonna get there before it does. Bigby, wait. When you get the Crooked Man, make sure you bring him back alive. He has to stand trial. This can't be like it was with Tweedledum. I don't care if it gets out of hand, you don't let it come to that. I know that emotions can run high, and you have your reasons to handle this a certain way, but we have to make a commitment to working within the law. I have enough to worry subject? about here while I prepare the case against him. So I'm going to trust you to handle this properly. That is, if you think you're ready. Of course I'm ready. I got no other choice. Soon he mended his evil ways. 
That's a long ass trophy name. Run, big me, run! Have some sort of castle. Tim, what the hell are you doing here? Oh, it's Good Tim. evening, Sheriff. I'm here to take you I'm to the freaking, box. Uh, Thanks, by the way. What's it leaving called? Off tiny. God damn it! I have to admit, when they asked me to watch the door. Scrooge. I wasn't sure what to expect when you came through that portal. Fucking, you know, the you were on a social thing. call. So thanks Good for not God. giving me a hard time. Hold on. I can't You've remember shit today. Waiting for me to show up? A Christmas Carol. There it is. Coming? I figured it That's out. What they told me. I don't know. They said you made it pretty clear. I'm supposed to bring you right on in. So, if you'll come this way. Look, this is the one thing I have to do. Please don't make this hard on me. Fine, lead on. A little Timmy grew up. Looks like he's still sick. Aww. Thanks for understanding. This is all I'm here to do, and I don't want to mess it up. <laughs> I know I'm probably the last person you'd expect to be a guard, or an escort for that matter. You shouldn't be here, Tim. This place is dangerous, especially for someone like you. It's not like that. Whatever you may think of him, he doesn't treat me like some broken little kid. I think he gets what it's like. He gave me a job, and I'm lucky to have it. This is the only option I've got. Just keep that in mind, maybe? Because if you and the boss go up against each other, the rest of Fable Town is gonna get caught in the middle. I can find the door myself. You should just get the hell out of here. Things are gonna get ugly in a minute. Leave? I told you, I have to do this. Hey, you've been warned. Stick around, and you're a part of this, just like anyone else. A lot of us depend on him. Some of us never get to the front of the line at the business office. But he's there. We need you, but we need him too. What we don't need is a war. Hey, Sheriff, hold up. I gotta go in with you. I feel bad. Wait for him. Thanks. <laughs> Am I some kind of fucking joke? What did I tell you? Eh? Stop laughing at me. Go ahead. Yeah? You got a job hey, to do. I ain't scared of you. Sheriff Wolf, sir. Oh, good. God, all my enemies in one place. Thank you, Tim. I know the sheriff isn't the accommodating sort. Oh, geez, you that's a crooked it. man. You did well. You can go now. Thank you, sir. Not exactly what I was expecting it to look like. You see, everyone in Fable Town has a role to fill. You just have to pay attention to what they need to help them find it. Why don't you have a seat, Sheriff? We have a great deal to discuss. Don't want to piss off the wrong person. The whole place is just ready to explode. All the anger. Oh god, don't let that be the end. No! God fucking damn it. You gotta be kidding me. God damn. That is the biggest cliffhanger so far. I've heard stories about you. 
in the old days, how you picked off those men one by one. Oh, how they screamed. The wolf is coming. And they would wait, hiding anywhere they could squeeze their pathetic, shivering corpses. Some would just drop to their knees where they stood, close their eyes, and wait for death. And you'd give it to them. <laughs> I wish I could have seen it. <sighs> oh well. <coughs> Shit is about to hit the fan. The you send Colin to the farm? You and 39.1 players decided Colin should not go to the farm. Oh, that's mean. Did you attempt to remove Narissa's ribbon? You and 61.5 players did not try to remove the ribbon. That's pretty split, really. Which crooked operation did you and give first? You and 50% of the players went to the cut above first. That's literally half. Did you send Toad to the farm? You and 47.2 of the players decided Toad should go to the farm. God damn, what is with people? I hear the farm is terrible. Why would you do that? You and 24.6 of players lit a cigarette. Sorry, I'm guessing everybody else pretty much threatened him. Well, the reason I didn't want to threaten him because, you know, last thing I want is everybody to like fucking jump me at once considering they're all in the same area. I'm the only dude there. Even if I went into werewolf mode, I wouldn't have the strength to, you know, fight them off. So yeah, fuck that. Go to freaking the school I have, freaking say one thing, your ass got jumped. That's the situation that was going on right there. Anyways, see you all in the next one in the last episode of The Wolf Among Us that will probably be coming out within the next month or so. Because this is actually pretty dang quick. Pretty, pretty quick. So, see you all then. Enjoy. Watch. Enjoy. Big B being a big bad wolf. Because we love those dog jokes. Don't we? Okay, bye.